Hello everybody, I'm back with um, a video on how to embellish your Cricut Cuts. And just in um, just a quick review, um, there is my sun that I did with the glitter with glossy accents. There's my glue pad one. Um, and there is my heat embossing. Those are the, the last few ones that I just did, I think. Yeah. So, just wanted to show that's what we did in the last video. Now we're going to embellish our Cricut Cuts with eyelets. And then we're going to do brads, but I'll probably do that for a separate video. Um, I've got the little wagon from the Just Because cards, and so I'm going to do a few things actually to it. Another thing I'm going to add to embellish our cuts are these dimensional fabric paints. Um, Tulip makes them in this big one and then they make these. This is a metallic one and um, I'm, I really like the way these turn out. So I needed white because you know how little red wagons have that white around the tires and my brands that I have are these We Are Memory Keeper ones but these are these bronzy ones and so I want to show you that you can take something you have that's in the wrong color and make it the right color by using, say, your acrylic paint dabbers. Now you can open this cap up and use a paintbrush if you really, really want to get it perfect. Um, if you don't care and you just want a really fun, um, homemade look, you can just just dab it. And middle will not get any paint, obviously. You can't get in there with the dabber. But like I said, with a paintbrush, you can... And then you got that like, speckly look. Now I'm going to set that down. I'm going to pick up the one that I did off, of ca off camera, and I'll show you if I want it to be even wider, I could just go in and go over it again. And these dry pretty fast, and they do dry permanent on metal. So you could do this to any of your metal embellishments if you wanted to. You do it to your brads. I've done it to brads as well. So I'll set that down, pick this one up again, and go back and do a little bit more. I'm finding that these videos are also turning into product featured products. I always like to see videos where people use product because then I can see if it's something that I would really do. And I like the dabbers because I don't have to get out another tool, I don't have another thing to clean. I do use my craft mat to get it started though. So, okay. And that's the snow cap, by the way. And then what we're going to do so that it has time to dry. Actually, we'll do that at the end. Never mind. Here is the little piece that goes on the wagon. And something else I want to share with you if you're just joining me and you've never heard me say this. I love my favorite paper to use in my Cricut personally is the Recollections paper. Those card stocks. Also, their pattern paper works well too. Just it's just really good paper um, and I find that if that is fraying in my Cricut then it's my blade and then I just change my blade. Um, I know I've heard other people say that Stampin' Up's paper is really good but I don't have Stampin' Up paper so I can't speak from experience. Alright now I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere my little and you know, I could add dimension, even more dimension, by putting this up on a piece of foam tape. Let's just go ahead and do that. I am having such a ball with this. I love it. It's Saturday, so I get to play, play, play. But I need to play with my son today, too. Maybe we'll go swimming.
I don't know what the weather is supposed to be like today though. That's the one thing nice about Florida is if it's going to rain, it doesn't usually rain all day. It'll just rain in the afternoon or in the morning. And then it'll be done. Mostly afternoon though. I just um, messed that one up. And if you're in a hurry, like I am right now, for these threads to dry, you can use a heat gun. And you can use it to blow all your little scraps of paper onto the floor, too, like I just did. <laughs> and if you do it long enough, it'll even bubble up on you <laughs> if you wanted that look. Okay. That's probably enough. All right, another thing I want to do is add, um, like I said, I'm going to do that last. Put it on my little 4th of July paper. No, first we got to add the brads. I'm all over the place right now. I'm distracted because my son just got up. <clears throat> I always like to greet him with a little snuggle in the morning. All right, so let's do this. Um, I'm going to use the whole, the lines on the, on the die cut for the hole. And I'm using the 3 16 inch hole right here. This is the Big Bite tool. If you're not familiar, you can um, set eyelet snaps. Um, just in general holes, it'll, it'll, you know, punch holes in lots of different things like metal and leather and it sets your eyelets really really easily. Then I'm going to change it over to the um, setting. This is how you set the eyelet. And I just pushed it down but you know what? I'm not let me show you something. There's these little cubes here that turn and you set it to the right size and that just comes with experience. I never really follow the instructions that come with the tool. To be honest with you, I'm really bad about reading instructions. I just like to figure things out for myself. But see how easily that set. Okay. And then I'm going to actually use, I was thinking about putting some black behind there because I don't like it being open like that. So I'm just going to piece of black scrap paper. I'm going to get my little, I got this punch, actually this paper is metallic or shimmery on the other side, I might use those, anyway I got this at Walmart I think, so I'm just going to go ahead and cover my holes, get some glue here. I'm not sure that this is going to work. Let's see. I'm going to put the shimmery side out. This is that shimmery paper from Michaels. Much better. Okay. I'm going to hear it. And then I'm going to use my dimensional paint. And 
And when you do these, a tip is to go ahead and start it on another piece of paper. Sometimes it has an air bubble inside, and if you have an air bubble, it'll kind of sputter out and make a mess. So I'm just going to do a little handle, make a silver handle. I'm going to do this piece right here. And then if you wanted those brads to have some shine to them, if they look too, if you don't like that matte look, which I, I do and I don't. You know what, I think I'll just do the tires, the little wagon tires with glossy accents. And I'll show you what it looks like when it dries in a little bit. Oh, you know what I didn't show you? was the micro bead one and the owl all dry. I need to add those to my little book. So there we go. And this will take a little while to dry. Maybe like 15 minutes. And of course, you know, if I was doing this for a scrapbook page, I would take my time. But see how it's milky looking? That's okay, because it will dry clear, clear, clear. Alright, so we're going to let that dry, and then I'll show you. I had done my owl a little while ago. I'm just checking to see if it's dry. I went ahead and added a little bling, a black bling, to his eye, as I thought he looked kind of... I didn't like the way it looked with just that little yellow dot. But this is really what I did in the last video. I forgot. And then here's the microbead one. Here's the watermelon. And these are all microbeads. If you want to see how I did that, just check out the video before this one. And then off camera, I went around the edge with some green distress ink. I don't remember which one I used. But I went around it and then I added glossy accents to that. So this one is Mosaic. This one would be two videos back. And the microbead is one video back from this one. And if we wanted to add even more oomph to our little owl here, we could put some stickles on his little beak. This happens to be just plain yellow. little feet too. Okay, so now we'll let that dry. And then this one needs to get adhered down too. And add it to my book. Using these rings, these uh, and there we go. So, um, thanks for watching. Bye.